uh, from Manning, I'm the president of the Diabetes Hands Foundation, the foundation that Amy was pointing out. So we run two social networks, 2diabetes.com, which you're seeing behind me, and s2diabetes.com, which is in Spanish, 2diabetes is in English. Uh, I will be talking to you briefly about some of the things that we feel make us unique, and uh, I'm just giving you a quick scan of the homepage for you to get a feel, and uh, then a little bit about our future direction. Uh, like Amy pointed out, we are a community that runs in Ning. We launched in March of 2007. Uh, that pretty much made us our, the first uh, social network center around diabetes. Uh, we currently have close to 5,000 members uh, that come visit the site, roughly a total of 60 to 70, I mean, generate a total of about 60,000 visits a month. Um, this weekend we were featured, it makes me very proud, on a USA Weekend insert, so I'm very happy about that. Our vision. Uh, our vision is for a world where people with diabetes no longer feel alone. So we strive to establish connections between people who have diabetes. This photo illustrates a little bit of that, to be two buddies holding up an Elmo and a Grover, but it is also to people who have diabetes. And uh, that's myself and one of the members, Judith, from Oregon. We were we had a chance to, to meet up, and meetups of that kind are happening around the country as a result of connections that have been established within the community. Besides that, we also run a number of diabetes awareness programs. We reach out to the community and ask them to contribute content, submissions of some of different kinds, photos, in this case drawings. This was part of a, an initiative we called Drawing Diabetes, where we reached out to parents of children with diabetes to uh, draw how they felt about diabetes. We then gathered the, the best uh, drawings, and along with a piece that one of the members donated as well, created this awareness video. The true power of a social network lies is in, in its ability to foster and solidify connections offline. We really very much believe this. Uh, not everyone uh, can afford to or wants to go online, and we acknowledge that, and, uh, especially in the case of people with type 2 diabetes, so, you know, that, that unfortunately can sometimes be the case. So we want to align our future objectives along with, with continuing to develop the communities and reach out to more people touched by diabetes to also reach out to who are offline and uh, also deliver our awareness initiatives in, in that respect. So to that extent, we are offering tools within the community that allow for meetups and groups to be set up and, and take place outside the community. We continue to look for sponsors and partners to help us continue to make our mission a reality. So if you're interested, please uh, contact us after. Thank you.